What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of a casual Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. This series is just going to be casual, because it's going to be recorded and... You know what, I'm not even going to talk about the recording session. But anyway, I got some time again, which is like two days after I recorded. So I think I can record another full episode, maybe two even. But anyway guys, in the last episode, we start off Emerald as um, the way Emerald should start off, which is pretty good. We all with the Pelleberg City car ourselves feathers. Feathers the, um, Talo, and off screen, um, I did some grind off of the two trainers that I skipped in the previous episode. They weren't really anything special, just, you know, basic starting trainers. So anyway, there's one trainer, I think I'm going to skip a few of these trainers until I get my third Pokemon. I mean, I could go ahead and fight them right now, but I kind of want to even out some of the experience. I do... I have a Pokemon that I want to get in the next in Pelberg Woods, so let me just uh, get to Pelberg Woods real quick and then we'll uh, do a thing. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing today's episode. We're going to Pelberg Woods, probably making to uh, Rustboro City. So, in uh, this game, two trainers are swapped. There will be a rich boy down there. And after the woods, there will be a, a lady. But they swapped them for some reason. Damn it, I did not want to fight you. Okay, but the thing is about these um, rich trainers is that they give off a shit ton of money. And you're level 7, and I'm only level 7 as well. With a weak... Okay, you know what? Never mind, not a weak pack with a pack move, and I think next level you learn Quick Attack. So that's pretty good. So the thing is about the uh, Rich Trainers is that they spam Fulver Source, which you don't get until near the end of the game when you go to the Pokemon League. So basically, that is kind of a dick move. How can they get like the best healing item this early in the game? That always baffles me. I think they only use one or two of them. I don't know, it always pisses me off when uh, a trainer, just like a random run-of-the-mill trainer just decides to just heal up, just like, not a boss, just a random trainer, just like, you thought I was going to be a normal trainer, right? Well, I'm a special because I use potions. And that is exactly what that one's not doing. So, Pelbo Woods, there's uh, quite a few Pokemon we can encounter here. We can encounter Pikachu, JK, Ron Woods. Um, but there is one Pokemon I do want to catch... And it's not Wurmple. It's not Wurmple. It's actually going to be something that, uh... It's going to be pretty good on the team. I don't know why, when I first started playing Ruby... Th yes! Oh, level 6! Pretty decent. Uh-oh. And this is the... Difficult part. Let's swap real quick. I'm pretty sure Feathers can take at least one or two. Okay. 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 Just don't kill it. Don't massacre it. I said don't massacre it. God damn it. Got him. Alright. One level lower, but that's probably fine. Uh. Damn, man. I'll be mad. Okay, I had to go run to the bathroom real quick. Uh, sorry, my bad. So, I'm trying to figure out a nickname for this thing. Um, I don't really have any ideas. Um. So honestly, I never actually nicknamed a Shroomish before in my goddamn life. So this is honestly going to be extremely fun. It's a male too. Okay. It evolves into something nice. It evolves into a Brayling, which is pretty good, but... 
I'm not really sure what I want to nickname a shroom is. And also I have allergies. This is the one bad thing about moving back. Um. Hmm. Uh. Honestly, I don't know. I'm I'm really bad at nicknames, so usually I just Google a good nickname suggestion, but I kind of want to be somewhat creative. Uh, insert the Mason looking around his room to see if I can find any idea of what to nickname just by looking at basic objects. Let's see what's around my room. I got a glass of water. I got my switch dock. My headphones. Or a sweater over my computer chair, a couple snacks, garbage can full of crap, a printer, my Xbox One, my slightly bigger TV that some guy was going to throw away in a dumpster but came to us and just gave it to me at work. So I'm going to nickname this thing... Uh... Okay, I don't have any ideas what to do this motherfucker. This is gonna take a while. Um I'm not this probably two minutes now. Okay, okay, I think I got an idea. No, I don't. I'm gonna YouTube this. I'm gonna Google this shit. That's it, that's all I'm naming it now. Why not? I mean, why not? I, I, it, I, I actually made that name up. I didn't take it from anything. I was just like looking them for your... Okay, that name just stuck out to me for some reason. So, uh, yeah. Let's go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up and take on the rest of these trainers. Okay, since we're all healed up, we can, uh, like I said, go ahead and take on the rest of these trainers. The good thing about uh, Shroomish is that we have... A poke, two Pokemon that can take on Roxanne the Rock Tension. Once it evolves to like 20 or so levels, it becomes a Breloom, which becomes a, a, uh, it becomes a Grass and Fighting type, which is a pretty unique type. I don't think anyone else has done a Grass and Fighting type on like a Chespin, or a Chestnut actually. Wait, what is the second evolution of Chespin again? I don't know, I don't remember. But anyway, it's time to get Naga some experience. And it failed already. <laughs> the Zigzagoon failed already. Okay, so this shouldn't take too long. Typical tackle spam with absorb stab move. I think it's more on the physical side, so let's get some physical moves like fighting and normal and a bit of grass for stab. Uh, and, I don't know, probably a you know what? I don't even know what I'm fucking talking about. I suck at Pokemon. Why are you guys even watching me at this point? Alright. That gained an entire level up. That's nice. Okay, now this is an adversary. C-Dot. It's a Pokemon that we could actually have found in the Route 4. With, uh, like... Like, uh... Like Shroomish, it evolves and gains a Dark type edition, but it evolves with a Leaf Stone to become a Shiftery. Very fun stuff. And there we go, we have a level 9. Alright, and this is a new trainer. A fisherman. All he has is a magic carp, I believe. Level nine, so this should be really easy to take down. And with the magic carp being just a splash heavy Pokemon. We can absorb a few times to regain all of Naga's lost health. And this is the team that we're gonna be taking on Rock Sand with. I don't have any there's going to be no Pokemon that we can get later on in the next few routes that I'm going to add to the team. So this is what we're going to see for quite a bit of time until we get to another part of the game. But regardless, 
Yeah, the goblin too. And done. What the fuck? Just realize he's pointing at me. Magic harp? It's not a magic harp. Just realize why it's called magic harp. It's a magic harp. How funny. Okay, so this guy, I think in Ruby and Sapphire, he has like a full team of Wimples, but they knocked it down to two. So if you have a Torchic or a early game fire type, which the only early game fire type you're getting at this point is a goddamn Torchic, then this battle will just be a one shot with all the Embers. But because we don't have anything, Except for Feather to take this one down. We're gonna be- oh! Fact Spore kicked it. Nice. We're just gonna be Tackle Spamming and possibly cutting the rest of it out because it is gonna be quite boring just if you just see me like Tackle Spam. Just to get Naga some experience. So, this battle will be over in a minute. They do give him some decent experience, not gonna lie. I'm level 8. <laughs> you got poison pointed by my effects four. <laughs> That's hilarious, and I think that will be it for this bat this battle. There is a few more trainers. I think like two. There's like one more trainer. Actually, two more trainers left on this one ground. So really, this force isn't going to be much. Isn't really that big. And there we go, level 8. I have all these Pokemon, but I couldn't win because they're all level 3. Okay, let's get Kip in here because Kip needs to be higher level than everything, everyone, everyone else. Oh no, what are we going to encounter here? It's a shiny... Weedle. No, Weedles and Caribbeans can't be found until I guess the post game. So we got Paralyzed Heal, which is pretty dope. I wonder, damn it! I wonder if there is a uh, a way I can like cheat the game just so I can have the Pokédex. Just oh, you what, mate? Just so I can have the Pokédex completed because the reward that you get is actually pretty dope for completing just the 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 Hoenn Pokédex, not like the National Dex. That's just like the the Dex that the home region gave you. Hmm, now I want to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love the Pokemon. Uh-oh, it's the enemy team number one. I was gonna ambush you, but you had Dwaddle and Pelvic Whip forever, didn't you? you? Got sick of ways, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. I. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please. What? Don't roll me into this shit. I just, I was, I'm just passing by. Huh? What do you think you're gonna do? What, you wanna protect him? No one crosses team off who gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on, bow me. So this is one out of the two of the enemy teams we'll be facing in this game, Team Aqua. The only time that the that the Pokemon, the uh, the Grunt changes is in Ruby, which changes to uh, po what seems to good. Words Mason, can you can you speak today? The only time that you find a different Grunt is in Ruby because a Team Magma Grunt will be like, hey, I want your fucking papers. But no, in in Sapphire and Emerald, you have to fight Team Aqua. Crap. Now this is sounding really loud. I need to fix this real quick. Alright, sorry about that, my friends. Uh, my brother decided to call me, and now I gotta edit this video again. Uh, you got some dirt meddling with Team Aqua. Come on, bow me again. Wish you could say that about my Pokemon. And hey, we need Team Aqua. also after some rest, bro. Let you go today. Oh, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, you didn't rob me those important papers. I know, I'll give you great balls, my thanks. And he'll give me a great ball, which is a better Pokeball. Didn't that Team Aqua thug say they were after some Rustboro too? Oh, it's a crisis, I can't be wasting time. Alright, so we'll be fighting these guys throughout the game. Which, if you watch my previous three Let's Plays of uh, a Pokemon Emerald game, you'll definitely know we'll be fighting these guys more often. We're going to be not Nuzlocke in Emerald because I, I, I Nuzlocke Emerald so many damn times on this channel. 
If you take Bubba from a school, you'll be instantly popular. Uh, if you take legendaries to school, you'll be instantly popular. Okay, so this is gonna be the last train on this route. There's gonna be, like, four trainers in the next route. Or five if you count a, the first double battle in the game. If you count that as an actual trainer fight, then yeah. Okay, this is actually gonna be a little interesting because he's just gonna be leech life and the crap out of me. And I'm doing a bit, a bit of nice damage to Kip. It's gonna be hardening. I don't have water gun. If I had water gun, I'd be screwing your butt right now. Oh my lord, calm down with the hardens. You know why nicknaming a Caterpie, no, a Metapod or a Kakuna penis is hilarious? Penis use harden. <laughs> I'm so fucking funny. I've never seen that joke like six or seven years ago. I was just like, oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Breaking up the old Pokemon games was the... The meme went, uh, I'm gonna bring out my old Pokemon games. Oh, why did I leave, uh, why did I nickname a Metapod Penis? Oh, now I remember, Penis use hard. I'd rather stop getting so many levels. Well, I mean, you're not gonna have any... You're not gonna get any screen time in the next episode, or the episode where I decide to fight the gym, because you're just a measly bird, Pokemon. So I know that Merrill's can be found this route, and if you want a decent water Pokemon, you can go ahead and pick up a Merrill. It evolved to a Zoomerail at level 20, which is pretty dope. So I'm gonna go in here. Don't really have much, much uh, reason to, but we we'll get some nice in a sec. Hello, this is a pretty, this is the pretty petal flower shop, spreading flowers all over the world. Your name is Mason. That's a nice name. Would you like to learn about berries? They grow on trees. They do some things. Um, my berries will sprout into a plant, plant beautifully, and grow berries again. I want to see the whole wide world filled with beautiful flowers. Wait, um. How can I do that if you don't give me the thing? More attention to give flowers, more beautiful they bloom. You like turning flowers, I'm sure you can have a whale more pale. Uh, thank you. That's all I came here for. Now, I do believe... They have the will to live, unlike me. Fucking will. Try building with big sisters and burn flowers too. Here you go, it's for you. I forgot she gave you free berries, so that's for burns. Now that machine that mixes up makes candies. I want some candy. I want candy. Should I want my dad to get me some candy during his uh, Walmart session. Okay, so we got some trainers up ahead. Feathers, I'm putting you in the back burner for a while. You'll be useful in the next gym. Oh, sure. I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Wait, you think I want to fight you for the money? I mean, that's nice, but... So yeah, Rich Boy Winston would be on the route before the uh thing oh wait you learned water gun i'm a dumbass i didn't see that you learned water gun uh when you leveled up i would have been able to own the pokemon okay and this is why i hate these people <laughs> they use full restores this is the first like five hour this is like the first like hour of the game and you're already resorting to these like bullshit tactics overpoweredness just use a like, regular potion you don't have to show off your fucking wealth like a douchebag and die. Uh, why couldn't I win? Because you suck and I have a starter Pokemon. Starter Pokemon are legit the rarest Pokemon to get. In the Pokemon universe. You can only get it as you start the game. You can't encounter it anywhere. Like, I mean, there are ways you can get starter Pokemon. But the only legit way is to just start the game i like making eggs of of starter pokemon and and just yeah going through the game like 
There was one time I played through Pokemon uh, Platinum several years ago, and what I did is that I uh, I got eggs of the starters, the other two starters, hatched them because I didn't want them to disobey me, and I'd rather have the O2 status. I mean, I officially own these fuckers. And so I just played through the game with, like, all the stars, which is actually pretty cool. Maybe one day if I ever do a Pokemon Let's Play, I might do it where I might actually have all the stars and see what happens, because i never seen a Let's Play where someone had all three stars. Actually, I did that in my Pokemon Yellow Let's Play. Out of, out of the... Uh, bleh. Out of the other starters you get, out of the Pikachu you get, you can also get, uh... Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Okay, so Kip is a little bit low in health, but that should be fine. Oh wait, you have Grass Pokemon, so that's not gonna work. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together! Okay, so this is the first double battle of the game. Um, in Ruby and Sapphire, they don't attack you like that. They just, you just go up them and press A. It's not like you're required to fight them. They're just like, so, oh, you're stun sporting. Okay, cool. Yeah. But it failed miserably. So I'm just gonna get probably absorbed. Okay, so we can get rid of the C dot before it decides to uh, bide, or maybe if it bides right now. No, it doesn't say the hard penis. Actually, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to get rid of uh, the C dot real quick because right now the C dot. Oh, okay, Naga, you're you're kind of, kind of beefy right now, aren't you? All right, what's next? Uh, so Lotad is a grass and water Pokemon. So it can destroy like, like its own. It can destroy like its own typing and also be like, fuck you to fire types. But grass is like the worst and bug. So you gotta be a bit careful when using a low tad. I mean, I never use a low tad. I mean, I kind of want to use a low tad. Maybe I should start with a Torchic for nostalgia's sake, but you know, maybe that's a series for another time. Hey. So there is one more trainer we can fight, and it is, I think, a fisherman. I don't know you. You're the water Pokemon expert? Do you have a... Uh... Okay, what do you got? Okay, this guy just has ass loads of magic herbs. Magic herbs. It's not a magic card. It's just it's just a regular dumbass fish. Oh my lord, this is gonna take ages. Uh Bad part of fighting these magic cards is they give fuck all experience, but they're gonna keep them like I think as high as a level ten or something, I don't know. So skip them time. See? No 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 experience whatsoever. And this last one's level seven. Lovely. Imagine reimagining this guy like at level twenty and he just has all sorts of Gyarados, then you're screwed. That wasn't too bad, if I may say so, but I guess not. Blech. He is pointing at me. Don't point at me. So, um, this is the way we get into Respiro City. Screw that, we're taking this way because there's an item. So, who's the next defend? I don't really use the X defense, X items because I don't really know why. But anyway. This is Respiro City, the first city in the game that has a gym. It homes the first gym leader. What? Did I accidentally press the B button? Okay then. But anyway guys, um, this homes Roxanne the Rock type Pokemon user, which is... Not really difficult if you have the right Pokemon. I mean, if you have a water or a grass type like what I do, you should be able to destroy this gym with ease. More? 
It has more of the uh, attacks. Really quick. This thing's more quick. But anyway, guys, um, no, we're not going to the gym yet. We don't have enough time in today's episode to fight the gym leader. So, what I'm actually going to do next episode is that we're going to go to Route 116, and we're going to go ahead and fight every single trainer we can fight. Because that'll help us gain some levels, and Roxanne has a little 15 nose pass, and we're not even prepared for this fight. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed... Please uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next episode. And I'll see you then. Bye.